Hello everyone, this is Melissa, the M from the m and so okay, Styles, I hope you're well. This is a bit of a different um, uh, posting because um, the last time I posted one of my clients, but today I'm posting this, putting this out because I'm with one of my male clients. This is Don. Hello, Don. Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, so... When I normally am um, working with Don, I'm uh, responsible for looking after his locks and. Can you see him? And. Uh, and uh, <laughs> he was good yeah. to well. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. And his beard, which um, I regularly twist down. So Don normally. I'll try and find a picture. Don normally has his beard out and I twist it so it's. Down. Yeah. It's so it's neat. And, close and contoured to my face. And he'll explain why I do this. But um, while I do this, um, Don and I have really fantastic, enlightening, positive conversations. And it's great to have a male perspective. So this is why I thought it'd be a good idea to just have a conversation with Don about just what we normally talk about, you know? Um, but first, it'd be good to know, Don, why do you like having your beard? What what, what do you think about the service? And, uh, you know, your beard is normally out, and why have you chosen for me to look after your beard, and why you ha choose to wear it that way? Good question. <laughs> good question, yeah. Okay. <laughs> One, to wear... I've never really worn a beard before. Okay. But... I believe if you wear your beard, it should be looking quite neat. Okay. I'm not a person that likes to frequent barbers. Right. Very often. And one day, just, you know, as things come to us through intuition, yeah. just thought process, whatever, it occurred to me that I wonder if you could flat your beard. Okay. Okay, so I decided to start growing my beard to see if it was possible. Okay. And a friend of my partner, whose name is Aliyu, mm -hmm. she began to try to start to plait my beard. It didn't come out very well at first. Okay. But um, I knew it would be a long process. Okay. So going through that process, I was called Father Christmas. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, my yeah. partner was very patient. Okay, because yeah. Because obviously, it didn't look very nice, to put it simply. <laughs> but I guess over a period of time, you become used to things. So I was making a transformation. I started getting used to myself not being close shaven because I was never clean shaven, okay. close shaven and so forth. And basically, um, I said to her, do you know anyone? Okay. Right. Or she said that I have a friend basically that was doing her hair. Okay. And I said to her, well, is it possible that she may be able to twist here because I heard about you you're at best ball okay um sorry about that's that. all right <laughs> live recording <laughs> um Dion is coming <laughs> <laughs> so uh basically I asked her about yourself okay and said if you'd be willing to give so, it a try yeah um so obviously the first time that we came yeah and you were, and I, yeah. yeah, you you had finished. I was yeah. astounded because it was a lot neater than it had ever been able okay. to be done before. Okay, you understand. So, also, I also think that as a people, we should kind of embrace who we are. Okay, and be creative as we we has always been. So I look at it that a lot of the times we don't realize, but most of the images that we portray is based upon a Caucasian or a European concept right you understand I so i wanted to do something which is just based upon our own creativity right nothing to do with them nothing that i've seen from them just something from ourselves okay so i yeah. guess if you ask for it it will be sent to you so yeah. obviously knowing that you're a person that comes from mainland africa i know certain traditions and skills you would have retained more than mm -hmm. us who have basically left the motherland yeah and been here for a while Mm -hmm. And our cultures have been basically adapted to, you know, Euros, you're very more Euro centric. centric. That's right. So right. we would have lost some of our skills yeah. that we would have, our ancestors would have traditionally had. So obviously, that twisted process that you used upon my beard, I've never seen before. You understand? And it's it's unique in the sense that 
it just stays in. Yeah. I could probably leave it in for three weeks. And it, and it would really stay... wouldn't look too, you know, too unkept. Okay, good. So basically, that's the reason. And how are they at work with your beard? Is there is there a... There's no issues whatsoever. A... You see, okay. I, I personally believe that you must be comfortable with yourself, regardless of whether anyone else approves or disapproves. Because right. the only person that needs approval is yourself. Right, true. You understand? If you're confident in what you have, people will grow acceptance. Okay. You understand? It's worried about what other people think is what makes people moderate yourself to what you want people to perceive you as. But you must know who you are. Right. Okay. So regardless of what they think, it's only after interfacing and speaking with them will they realize, yeah, that the first impression I have of this person is not so. Right. So we must be a people personally that be who we are, but we must be obviously of sound mind, of sound judgment. Right. Yeah. And not be conforming to other people's ideology of beauty because we're beautiful within our sphere and how True. we see things. True. So I think a lot of the problems our people have is trying to be beauty beautiful from somebody else's perspective. And in fact, we're making ourselves ugly and look stupid also at the same time. Mm. You understand? We're not Barbies. We're not Cindy's. Let's not try to be that. You know what I mean? We're not Clark Kent's. You know, we're not Tom Cruise's. Mm. You understand? We're black men. Be black men. You understand? Whether they like it or not is not the issue. The issue is, does your own people like it? And if they do, then that's all I need to be basically making myself, if you like, attractive for. Right. So I have a question. Where where you work now, did you ever have your hair full with an afro or locks? Not where I presently not where you presently work now. What has made you decide to have your hair, like your locks just in that area with a clean shaven? Okay. And did it concern because it's a the reason I'm asking you is obviously not the usual yeah. um hairstyle. Style. So I wonder how it was whether you notice a change in interaction or whether it was it's ever been an issue with your hair being styled as it is, it is. I find that the personally I find that the interactions that I have or the people that seems to be most shocked is not white people. Okay. It's actually black people. Believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. <laughs> right. Um I if I'm to put if you like a judgment on it, mm. I would say it's more of our people that are from a Eurocentric, Christianized thought process. Okay. That may look at it as being anti establishment. Okay. You understand? Radical. However, they perceive it anti right. anti white. Okay. Etc. But I have had a lot of comments also, mainly sometimes from people of African descent. Okay. But my hairstyle is basically being styled upon our own people, looking through magazines, okay. pictures, um, tribes, etc. Right. It's a tribal it's, African... That's right. And I okay. really wanted to have, to have something which is basically um, projecting my proudness to be black. Okay. And how do you react to those people who question um, how you choose to style your hair and, you know, wear your facial hair. How do you deal with that? Absolutely. The reason I'm asking this question is there's obviously um, women out there, especially, yeah. Yeah. or even men, who right. are thinking of transitioning and yes. basically celebrating their African hair. Yes. And their worry is always about the fact that they're in um, an, in an environment which they feel that choice will be questioned and they don't know at this point how they would be able to deal with that kind of question. Right. So I, that's why it'd be good to know how you've dealt with those kind of co conversations or questions to help others, you know, who have that to come or are worried about that to come. Personally, I usually throw the question back. Okay. Insofar as if somebody questions me about my hairstyle, I would ask them, what in my hair, or why does my hairstyle is basically of concern to you to the point where you feel that <laughs> you want to mold me into the image and likeness of what you want, other than allowing me to mold myself to what I want? 
right, okay? Okay, meaning that if you want to wear your hair in ponytails or so, that is a personal choice. I am an individual, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and my expression should be individual. And I shouldn't have to be conformist to anything. The only thing that I should really be conforming is my behavior to fellow human beings upon the planet. Right. But outside of that, you know, if a punk wants to be a punk, that's up to him. Okay. Okay. It may not look professional in, let's just say, in the front of a hotel or in certain environments. But again, that is because we have been programmed into a certain right. way. Because we've been programmed to judge people by the way they look in opposed to what proceeds out their mouth and their behavior. Right, I understand. So so you just threw it back at them? Basically, yes. You understand? Yeah. Because to me, men sit around in suits and tie and look very neat mm. and well shaven and so forth, but commit the most heinous atrocities upon the earth. Mm. You understand? And the people that they're looking at that may have a hood or so forth or... or genes or whatever the case may be are looked upon as being the criminals when really the opposite is true mm -hmm. it's only that they're not being prosecuted it doesn't mean that they have not committed a criminal right act. it's just that they're not being prosecuted right so what i'm saying is people should be free to express themselves how they are it seems very if you like unintelligent to me that if a woman wears an afro somebody says she's being radical I mean, how can you be radical for what grows outside your ear? Naturally. Naturally. You understand? And how could you even perceive that you're being radical for allowing nature to take its course? You understand? So, how do you feel? What's your opinion about women who choose not to wear their hair naturally? What I mean by that is who choose to probably wear a weave or perm. What is your preference, actually? Well, my preference, and it has always been my preference, yeah, that women with natural hair, to me, um, emits a very beautifulness about themselves, without a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> if I'm being honest, yeah. the women that I would be attracted to mm -hmm. is always from a natural perspective. 100%. Message to the sisters yeah, out there, 100%. listen. 100%. Um, there is something about a black woman with a natural hair. Don't tell them, hair. tell them. There tell is them. something about a black woman with a natural hair uh -huh. that is almost unexplainable in terms of its beauty and its, its um, if you like, its how she emanates. Yes. Her stature, her status. The message that she sends, whether they're afros, whether they're locks, whether they're part plats, part afros, you are unique. There is nothing like you on the planet. No. No. And it's only because of a mental process which has been done to you that you are now looking in the mirror actually thinking that you look better with somebody else's hair on your head and you couldn't be further from the truth. But a lot of you might want to attack me thinking that I'm actually being... Um, you know, anti-freedom of expression. Right, yes. Because people say it is my choice That's to correct. cut my hair, to That's wear right. weave. And yeah. most of our women say that it's because <coughs> it's for ease of... If you can find styling. Word, styling. In the morning, they want to just wake up and, and go. Wash and go. That's right. So my question to you would be, then, why are you not wearing wigs which represent yourself if this is what you want to achieve it would why don't you put on an afro wig don't you why don't you put on a wig with you know locks or something that represents your culture represents yourself so i'm saying if you really think about it and you analyze it you will realize that a mental process is being done to you because most of the magazines most of the when you're on the train the billboards that you look at okay the the, the um soaps that you uh, watch, etc., is basically giving you somebody else's ideology of beauty. And unfortunately, because you may work in a corporate setting, you now basically are conforming to that setting in order to, one, feel comfortable, and two, make them feel comfortable. But you should not have to make yourself be less than yourself 
in order to fit in. You must be fitting in by your behavior pattern and your skills within the boardroom or within the workplace. They have to learn to accept that they cannot control us to the point where they want to even control what we look like. Only we must be the, have that decision-making process. And we need to get out of that because they do love your hair, whether you realize it or not. And I'm sure you would get compliments as you have or so <laughs> forth that when you look yourself and you're in your, you know, own image and likeness, yeah, yeah. As, as the gentleman that stopped you in the car said to you, yeah, 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 yeah I like yeah, your I hair. I like your hair. Yes, so don't yes. think they don't recognize it. Yes. They do. Let me tell you what my biggest issue is, and I've had it with clients, especially young clients who are transitioning. They, they used to wear their kinky hair or extensions in their hair, and I'm like, okay, let's just celebrate your African hair the, sure. in its beauty. Yeah. No matter the length, I always try and tell my clients that no matter the length, no matter it doesn't matter the density. We work with your hair. They they leave here don't looking amazing. They walk out of hair. The people who they think are going to criticize their hair don't. No, it's their people. That's correct. That's what, as I their said, relatives, their loved ones, their that's people right. that they share a space with. Because it's the same. And I don't understand that. Because that's always they're the, they're the most vocal. They name it as well, which is so frustrating. They give you a name because all of a sudden it looks radical. You know? Yeah, exactly. Are you Lauren Hill? Are you, they name yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Now, when you think of that process of what's happening that a person is actually, if you like, and maybe the, the word is a strong word, attacking or disapproving what's coming out your hair naturally and saying that you must go artificial. There's something wrong There's in that process. Wrong There's that. a reverse yeah. psychology going on there. Yeah. Somebody has been bred or a group of us have been bred to believe that to go natural is not the right thing to do but we go and worship gods that we say made us in his image and likeness but we're unhappy with our image this isn't something that if we're in a tribal um, place in africa or in a bush somewhere or in a remote area we don't have a problem with this no. it's only in these western hemispheres so yeah. we've got to make that connection of why is it us in the western hemisphere having this problem but when we're amongst ourselves, we don't have this problem. Yeah, we don't have this problem. What's causing that problem? Yeah. I worry about the next generation, Don. Yeah. I worry about... I mean, our women, let me say it straight for you black women out there, you are the only women that can wear your head, and I'm talking about bold as you can see mine now, and still look beautiful. Right? No other um, race of women on the planet are able to do that so successfully. Keep talking, Don. I'm just going to lock this... I'm going to shut this door. Yeah. I don't want to interfere. With so this. I'm saying is, even if you want to start the process, because it, that age-old lie that long hair is what makes a woman beautiful is untrue. Mm. You understand? Because again, that's a European concept. Yeah. Yeah. Our women are beautiful with long hair. They're beautiful with short hair. They're in just short. They're beautiful with small afros, big afros, big locks, sister locks. Yeah. Whatever. We are unique in that. Of course you are. What did you tell me the first, one of the first things you said to me when that hit myself in the get is about our hair because every other group has hair that grows down. What I'm saying is we are the only people actually that has hair. Okay. Hair which, like the trees, grows towards the sun. Okay. That's the natural order of things. Anything that grows out the ground grows towards the sun because the sun is sending down its energies and our hair is gravitating towards it it's our antennas okay all other species all races on the planet here grows towards the ground okay there's something unique about our hair we need to do more research into our hair as a mass of people to discover why we're different and why we act differently than most other people upon the planet okay why we're not warmongers you know, I'm not saying that we don't, we're not being um, conditioned to do certain ignorances by the system that we're in. But if we're judged by other people's atrocities, we have done very little upon the planet in regards to exploitation, robbing, killing, stealing, 
You understand? Only in conditions that have been set for us, like ghettoized conditions or poverty conditions. But outside of that, we're not known to go into other people's lands en masse and steal mm -hmm. and rob and kill because we have, if you like, a moral code written within our DNA. And I believe our here is part of that. Right. Um, if you like, tuning into the universe. So you have a balance. You know when you're what you're doing is wrong and you refrain from it. Most other people don't have that. They have fur. They have hair like the animals, the right. bears, the tigers, and all yeah. the rest of it. You understand? So we are definitely unique. But we have got to stop trying to be like everybody else because we are different, we're peculiar, and we must embrace that peculiarity. You understand? We all don't walk down the road and have the same hairstyles. You will have a hairstyle, you get what have a hairstyle, mm -hmm, you see mm -hmm. 20 sisters with locks, and different. none of them, it's different. Different. That's, you, you know, yeah. that's not something that any other race can do. Mm. They have to have a cut, a bob, a weave, and it's, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's the it's, same. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. You understand uh, yeah. how many different hairstyles can you can, do? It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's innumerable. It's trying to communicate that to the next generation. That's I, I, I'm I, well, we're working on. Yes. And it's it's maybe from a male pers perspective, it'd be great for you to give us tips on how to get the young girls and boys, because now you have little boys growing up thinking we there's better. Exactly. They're more prettier. They're more again. You it's know. the same process because he's been led to believe that the white woman is the optimum of beauty. Right. Okay, so he does not protest with his woman, puts that on her head, because he's thinking she's enhancing herself. Right. Right? Yeah. So we really got to change his mind, because the way it is, women do things to attract and please men. So See, if I didn't... <laughs> okay, so a lot of the time, I thought. Yes, I, honestly, I I and thought men do the same that women well. mm -hmm. dressed and look nice. Maybe it's just me thinking this. Um, mm -hmm. for more than likely more women, women because women tend to notice things in more detail. I I didn't really necessarily think that we dressed for men. Correct me, Don. Correct. Me. I I believe you do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just, and it's no different that men dress for women. Men don't dress for other men. Men don't drive big cars for other men. Men don't drive big or have big watches for other men. They do it to impress women. I'm okay. not saying you might want to have a relationship, but to impress. You know, I want to be top peacock. You understand? Okay. okay. Right? Women like to be um, congratulated, told you're, you look nice, you do this makes you feel good for the day there's nothing wrong with that so why is it that i get your point because you could tell another sister you look fantastic you look fantastic yes they're like thanks yeah then a guy says it and they hear it of, of course it's no different than what you was explaining to me in regards to the hair show right yeah yeah right because through the laws of opposites and attraction that's what we do that is a human interaction process men dress up women dress up to look good for one another okay okay you know it's like it's no different than animals a peacock so we don't dress it. for ourselves when we dress you dress for males especially here in this western hemisphere okay. you think if a, if a woman is wearing you know a low cut top or a short nice. skirt right she's looking attractive right okay, okay. She knows that. She's going to get more attention than if she puts on a sari and covers okay. up her eyes and all you can see, or cover up her face, excuse me, and all you can see is her eyes. Right, okay. So we know this, whether it's subliminal or not, we know it's, this. It's probably subliminal for me because I, yeah. I didn't realise, but maybe I am. Yeah. Because so, I'm a husband. Yeah, that's right. So I'm saying, even so, it's not to say that because you're dressing up like that, that you want to be with anybody. I understand. But... It's, it's one, of course you do it for yourself, but you don't walk around with a mirror in front of you to appreciate yourself, because right, if somebody doesn't yeah. tell you, you can't see yourself. Yeah. So, so it basically, if a man gives out a message, we hear it. Yes. Stronger, it's just the way we are. Yes. Stronger, more clearer. Yeah. If a man gives you a message, you hear it. If a sister gives you a message and tell you you're beautiful, you're fabulous, you don't hear it. Yeah. You'll you hear it, but probably not, 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 not as clearly and loudly. 
And it also keeps your husband and your man on his toes. Okay. Knowing that I've got something that is prized and precious. If you've got old beat up car, you don't really look after it. But if right. it's a nice little Ferrari or something, you try and look yeah. after it because it's sought after. Right. They, they, that's brilliant. I'm, I'm going to think about that one, Don. So yeah, like, so there's nothing wrong with that women beautify themselves. Yeah. To look nice for, you know, men. Because yeah. men do it but for women. Yeah. We just have to have that self-control. Like, you know what? I've got a beautiful partner. I don't need any more. Right, yeah, yeah. So for those women who are scared and wearing weaves or perming their hair, thinking... Or about to get married and thinking yeah. they need to have their hair stretched out or covered. You don't. What you need is to sit down and sometimes speak to your man and ask him. That's good. Or speak to your partner. Or have conferences with males to find out what we really like. Because you have the last people that you've spoken to, your women, you've looked at the media. But how many of you have really sat down and spoke to a man? A black man and asked him, what, what does he like? Yeah. And unfortunately, a lot of us, especially some of the young young males as well, are caught up in the hype about, you know, I call it the Cindy syndrome. Mm. Yeah. And obviously through, you know, football, which most men are locked into like a bunch of drones. They understand. Mm. And seeing most of the footballers dealing with women. I understand. Straight hair. You don't have That's our right. African hair. Right. I understand. What is wrong with them today? Through <laughs> hip hop. Right, yeah. Through their music videos, etc. Yeah. This is what's being promoted. Right. We have to understand that also, we are making other people very rich in that industry. Yes. Yeah? Rich. At yeah, the I expense understand. of our women's health, their hair follicles, mm. and eventually, by the time you damage your hair follicles so badly that you can't, you are now indebted to these people to spend your money with them for the rest of your life. And what is it you told me about energy and hair? Well, I'm saying that all things has energy, weight, sound, colour, vibration, negative or positive. Right. If you're wearing the hair of a person who through their life did not does not like us as a people or are racist or anti-black or whatever, negative in their connotations, when you put that upon your head, you are taking in a portion of their energy. So it's not surprising that a lot of the times that the women that wear their hair straight and so forth, and I'm not saying it's all because it isn't, mm. but I don't want to generalise. That's right. Are ending up dating people of other races because they in turn are now feeling that resentment towards their black brother. Yeah? I know sometimes that black brothers, oh, they're what they say this, but they need to understand that you're in a, they're in a system which is hostile to them. Right? And in that hostility, in that system, they're not functioning correctly. One, because they don't understand it. Right? And if you don't understand something or you don't realise you're unwell, you're going to act Right. right, according to your emotions, in opposed to your logic and your wisdom. Right, you understand. So we got to stop kind of blaming each other and actually see the bigger picture. And I, 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 I totally, totally want to talk about that as well. The right. fact that I feel we are segregated. Most definitely. Um, one of us makes a mistake, and or we're learning, and instead of us all being together, that's and supporting right. And each other. Yeah, we condemn. We just, it just feels like what there should only be one successful black person or a group of us and and i feel like it's lacking we should like be totally totally be in unison definitely you know we will never be recognized until we're successful as a race not individuals you see because the stereotype still exists so you know if Kanye west walks on the road michael jackson rest his soul or whoever who's known everybody would scream ah but if an unknown black face walks into their neighborhood, the first thing I think is something ne negative because that is the um, general consensus they have about black people en masse. They're up to no good. They steal, they do drugs, etc., which is crap. Mm. But when you have something as powerful as the media, newspapers, etc., radios, etc., that puts out this information. Um, it's very difficult for some people to um, basically see through 
the muck and mire yeah. and realize that this day is, it's that's bad. right this is just a propaganda yeah 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 um so we have to work as you said in unison but in order for us to work in unison i think one fundamental thing we must know or we must do is love ourselves because we can't work in unison as if we're, we're walking around with self-hate we don't like our image we don't like our shape yeah we don't like our skin yeah. We don't realize how blessed we are. Yeah. Everybody wants to be like you. That's why they're out in the sun. And you <laughs> want to be like somebody else, putting on yeah. cream and trying to light it out. Yeah. Yeah. Just because, be, yeah. Accept, celebrate who you are is who you That's are. That's correct. You must have a mirror and can look in the mirror and say, you know what? That straight mirror ain't doing it for me. It really isn't doing it for me. Yeah. I'm pretending to be somebody to be accepted. I'm falsifying myself. You understand? Our women are wearing eyelashes that are from here that they would blind you if you try to kiss them nowadays. Yeah? But also, that we're not realizing what the chemicals that are in them, yeah. the harm that they can do to your eyes, because every time you're blinking in the wall, it's draining into your eyes. Yeah, you, you don't think about that, how we, they prepare the weeds, how they Exactly, prepare. the chemicals, yeah, all those all things are chemically induced. It's going straight into your, your pores, right into your brains. And it yeah. may have an effect on the way that you're thinking. Yeah. You understand? So you need to go back to nature because that is what you evolved from. That's who you are. You are the closest to nature than everybody else. And believe me, they want to be you. They want the Balderic Platts. They want the locks, but they can't have it because it's only assigned to a specific people. So what I'm saying is, love what you got. Love this, as Dove tells you, love the skin you're in. Love right? the skin you're but in. Also, love. love the hair. Love your hair. That's correct. Wonderful. Positive, positive right? <laughs> message. A lot of messages there. Thank you, Don. You're welcome. And, and all your sisters are welcome. As I said, don't even be frightened to board your head off and start again. Because you look beautiful the same way. Totally. And I mean that 100%. Yeah. Yeah, See? Dion would tell you yeah. that if out of all her hairstyles, I prefer her with her hair short. Short. And Alex is like that. Alex I prefer, prefer me. I see an African like, woman yeah. just with minimal makeup, yeah, yeah, yeah. hair That's short, true. brush to her hair or skin, yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. Yeah. big earrings or elaborate earrings, smash it. Yeah. Because if, if I... Don't it. It brings out her face, yeah, her eyes, yeah. everything. That's Alex's dream is like, shave your hair off, yeah. cut your hair off and, yeah. you know... Food for thought, food for thought. But I like my locks and I spent too much that's, time and money on it. Dog. I am not <laughs> shaking that's up. Right. I know I that's dress for him, yeah. but that's why I, I, I compromise right. and I put it close to my head. But as I said, I, I just... <laughs> we're such a beautiful people, man. Yeah. How we, we ever are. got conned into thinking any Dawn, different. Dawn, honestly, it, it, it's, it's amazing. Sometimes as you, as you awake, and I'm awakening... Just like everybody else yeah. at some point. We are just different degrees of awakening. Yeah. But, you know, I'm really of the impression that, man, we have been... What brain... bl yeah, we are blessed. And, yeah. And we, we have been, been brainwashed. So badly. We and do we not need know to, how blessed we are. We yeah. need to reverse this brainwashing. Yeah. Because it's untrue, for starters. But also, it it puts us in an inferior position and once you're in an inferior position with an inferior mindset then your actions will follow thereof yeah yeah you understand so i mean i am seeing more and more women in the city yeah here with locks full out like yourself yeah. in a style tied up or so forth so the message is getting through Yes, I'm noticing essential it London is in London. Kind of, yeah, you because see, maybe three to four years back, you it will was not very see, rare. Yeah, and yeah, to just give an analogy, it would be like you walking down the road and just seeing all um, white women in Afro wigs. It would be very odd. There's something very odd, odd about that. Yeah. How did we take that and normalize that? To where where you so to the point where we want to argue that as if. It was something naturally coming out of our hair. Yeah. And justify it as saying that to wear your own natural hair is you're the one that's not being correct. Yeah. 
come on, man. It just doesn't. I just, it, yeah. It, 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 and, and also, I feel like naming it, you know. So when I decided to become uh, what, what you call natural, I decided to stop putting chemical onto my hair to straighten my curls because yes. I was losing my hair. Right. It, it didn't have a name. Yes. I was just... I mean, now they call it going natural, and obviously we have to give it a name for, you know, yes. I guess marketing purposes. Right. But it was just going back to my roots, just yes. my own hair. That's right. Um, I didn't care about the curl pattern or the da da da. What what my hair did, it did. What it can't do, it can't do. Funny enough, in saying that, I saw a young black male today and a black lady holding each other and giving each other a kiss and an embrace and a, and a kiss. And she was young, maybe. I can't tell our ages because sometimes. Yeah. You know, Black, but black. I would say she was, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But she was about, um, uh, from you know my perspective, I would say she was about anything from 15 to 21. Okay. And maybe he was likewise, but he was he was an African guy, African, you know, okay. from mainland, short hair to his head, and she was just a young girl with an afro. And I just loved that. You love I, it, I, I just took a picture of that. <laughs> I really want to shout at them and say, yes! <laughs> and I bought time too. <laughs> yeah, totally. I love to see that. Natural. She was going, beautiful, he yeah. was beautiful. I say, I yes! Going back to nature. That's right. Really, you know, what, and, what we you are. Know, they were in the city embracing, yeah, unashamed. And it's just beautiful. You understand? Unabashed. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, doing yeah, what you're wonderful. supposed to do naturally. Yeah, yeah. And I'm saying, there you go. Perfect. Go back. Right. So if we really, going back to how, what we're going to do about our young children. Yeah. What are we going to do? We're going to change ourselves. That's what we have to do. Yeah. That's the answer. When they see us leading by example, they will just follow suit. Don't, what should I do about this? This is a situation, right? It's so frustrating. Buy, buy more. Can I show you? What's look, that? look, Don, right? You see? <laughs> yeah. I look like mom. Yeah. Look like this is Susu's doll, right? Yeah. And then there's this one, right? Guess which one Susu prefers. This is a big issue. I've tried. She says, this is smoother. <laughs> this moves smoother, mummy. You see? And then, she, this one doesn't move. It's <laughs> smooth. She's like, harder to move, mummy. Don't help me. <laughs> now, let's have a look and see. This you know, because obviously it's co more <laughs> colourful. Yes. And I don't know. I mean, she's looking at the bright hair and the okay. dead. It's more colourful. And am I, am I, like, or is it that, is it because the pattern's just plain and this is much more... I personally she feel sees enough I images. Per, this is I personally feel when they're watching the, the program, okay. the televisions, these are things that the children take in that we don't realise that subliminally yes. moulding their perceptions. This is what she sees more regular. Yeah, this is what she so sees. So if she sees this all the time, remember when she goes to school, who's teaching her? A white teacher. There She's never go. been taught by a black teacher. Right. When she switches on the telly, who did she see is usually presenting? Disney. And what's Disney? Why? Okay. When she puts on Hannah Montana, whatever the case may be, Doesn't look like her. this is what they see. So this is in their mental collective is what they see as being correct, right, the norm. And this is why... We have to teach them from a young age, it's not the norm for us. Yeah. It's the norm for them. Yeah. But Our norm us. is different. So sometimes we must, if we have Sky, you must put on the African station. Yeah. And see black presenters and things like that to combat or balance out the continuous bombardment of white images, white gods. And all other things, which are basically, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Influence in our children's minds to think that this is the it's good doll, yeah, and right? That's not... And this is the bad doll. Yeah, she doesn't want to play with that doll. Yes, yeah. it's like mummy's hair, and it, but yeah. she was switching. It is just subconscious. She doesn't even yes. realize she's doing. I have it out like this. I come back and it's, and it's like this. I don't yeah. even see her doing. Yeah, well, you see us. We wouldn't give them none. And we yeah. told them why we're not giving you. And I didn't think it's interesting for me because it's yeah. clearer. Yeah. But I bought it because yeah. of the African print and, and then yeah, sure. obviously I didn't think I didn't think for one minute she would prefer that. that one or I wouldn't have got it. That's fine. There's need... nothing wrong with that because sometimes we try to give them balance. I said, well, yeah, no, I tried, yeah. yeah. But we we did that for a portion of time. But at that point, our children had already 
because we was just on them. We would buy black books. Yeah. I was going to say, ask you, actually, Don, not yeah. to cut you. When do you teach your children about racism, about slavery? Kijani, can I help? What do you want? Paper. Go and I'll, I'll come get it for you. I'm just keeping paper. And, and Okay. When do we teach them? When do we teach our children? Because this was a, ma especially having a, my first child, I didn't know when to teach him about the fact that you're different, there's racism, there's slavery that's happened, because I thought it would be just so traumatic for him to understand that as a result of our skin colour, uh, as a result of our hair, as a result of how we look, I, I, we're taken, yeah. basically. I would say that any time that you feel that your child is confident, I just went into it and I just started to tell my children okay. because I think children are very resilient, more resilient than we actually give them credit for. And I also said that I don't want to lie to them. I want them to be prepared for the work because a prepared person is, is, is better suited to deal with something than somebody just walking into something and unknowingly just started to be attacked. Okay. Now, what I did was first taught them the positive aspects of their skin. Right, okay. So I had to teach them about melanin, okay. what melanin does, how it okay. protects you from the sun, okay. how it protects you from diseases, you understand, okay. how it regenerates itself, how it neuromelanin, that's in, in, within your organs, sends messages quicker from brain, so your thought process is even quicker. Right. There's a scientific fact that our children develop faster than anybody else's because of our melanin dominance. That's why primary school, it said, That's correct. kids are advanced and then they go to then, secondary. But, and... Right, but remember, there's a program set up for them to make them fail. That's why they change, okay. right? They're being now attacked. So, but in the first development stages, it's, it's when it's equal, right, they it's... walk quicker, they, they, they keep up their heads quicker, they do everything quicker. So I make that connection with them and what makes them do that, which is melanin. Then I taught them that anything that is melanin recessive, yeah, is what is abnormal, not what we have. Because what we had was necessary under the sun once we came into creation and, and evolved. Everything in the beginning had melanin, right? Anything without mel melanin is in in effect, an albino. And what they have done is try to make us feel bad about what nature has given us, the you know, the liquid gold, if you like, and try to make that white is all right. And that is so far from the truth. Actually, the fact that they're white makes them abnormal. And I'm not saying that as being a racist statement. It's a scientific fact. And the sun causes them to have skin ailments, melanoma, cancer, sunburn, etc. So I'm saying to our children, once you understand that, you will understand why they're angry at you. Once you start understand why they're angry at you and you understand the gift that you have, you will be in a better position to defend yourself against racism by just giving them the facts. Right. You ain't got to get mad. You understand? Right. Okay? You also need to know your history before slavery. Good point. Because that is extremely because, important. Yeah, because I that is what they're going to use to try to inferiorize yes. you. When you let them know that everything that you have today was from my ancestors who taught you. Right. Yes. Yeah? All your great inventions. All your systems of parliament, libraries operations, agriculture, astronomy, we taught you, okay? We allowed you to come because you were our children, but you had a defect, which was lack of melanin. So you left our shores and went over to here in Europe and you became very grudgeful and very evil because of that. You became very jealous. And so over a period of time, while you had massed weapons of mass destruction and so forth, you came over to us and basically wreaked havoc. And that's that, that point is where you teach our children, is where um, basically 
that we were not doing anything up until that point. So you came, yeah, right. and basically helped us to become civilised. Right. Right? Okay. Well, in fact, we helped you to become civilised, and you're still not civilised to this day. Right. Okay? Because civilised means to be civil, and you're still not civil. Right, yeah. That's a, such a valid point to go back to before. You have to go back before. Not slavery. Right. So this is right. Was, slavery is just... The, remember, slavery is minute to our existence. It's yeah. only a small period of time. Was it four or five hundred years? Yeah. We've been here for billions of years. Mm -hmm. Doing great things. Having the most wonderful cities, whether they're in Zimbabwe or, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, or Timbuktu mm -hmm. or wherever. We have cities... You know, three-story houses, four-story houses, all over Africa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So go back. And this is why they came over and plummeted and plundered our stuff and brought them back here in their museums, mm. right? And everywhere else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And displaying our stuff, whether they be bronze masks, wooden masks, African symbols, mm. whatever, yeah? which they haven't paid for, making money off our stuff and denying us that we even um, basically presented or evolved into these great people. So in order to give them confidence of self, you've got to know, let them know what they were doing and what they had achieved. Because once they know what they were doing and what they had achieved, yes, what you have that achieved, is what's that's going to incentivize them, uh, incentivize them to go back and do what you were doing before. So your message is very good because it's telling me, mm -hmm. as a mum, yes. I must educate myself. You must about before that our history before definitely, so I can equip, be equipped to educate my child about that because that's, that's only a part of our story that's correct so that when we tell him that story or them that story it's not so dramatic it's not so disturbing that's correct because he would realize that yeah. that was something it's just yeah. yeah because you let them understand that through the passage of time empires come and go people conquer one another this is natural when i say natural this is i wouldn't say it's mm, Normal, human, it's kind but it's like kind of human, human nature. nature. Like, yeah. Right? It's the kind strongest. Of, yeah, yeah, the strongest will survive. Yeah, yeah. Like the so, strongest survive. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, you had the Roman Empire. That, is it human nature? Is it man? Well, I would say it's man outside of his higher self's nature. So okay. when he's dealing with his lower self, his animalistic side, right? he will allow himself to fall to that level. Okay. An intellectual man would We're never not. have to do that. Okay. Just by his very intellect, yeah, and his skill, he would create. You don't need to kill anything to create. Right. Okay. It's only if you ain't got that skill do you that need you to would. go to those, you know, depths in order to obtain something. Hence the oils, the diamonds. Exactly. The timber. Yeah. He could sit down there and trade. Yeah. Yeah. But he had nothing to trade with because he has a barren land. It has nothing. So yeah, he had so to yeah. use... Because remember, where he evolved here through the glacial ages, the ice ages and so forth, there's nothing here. So he evolved in a very hostile environment. Hence his hostility. Right. Okay. Yeah? yeah? There was nothing to grow in there. So if you saw an animal and it's your tribe or your clan or your family and somebody else's, you weren't about to sit down and say, well, we're going to have a little morsel each. You would just destroy them and take it for yourself. And that's not what we... That's that what we, we never we did. come from that. No, we our have, evolving was with an abundance of everything. We had abundance. So we, we never shared. Did, that's right. So we never developed that hostility. So and therefore, we didn't even understand it when it we, came. When we it came to us, it wasn't prepared for that because we knew nothing of that. We had our different little squirmishes, yes. but nothing like that. Yeah. You understand? Not for, for, for material gain. It's probably cultural differences yeah. more than anything. Yeah. Yeah. So we was not prepared for that. We ne we were people that what we said we meant, our word was our bond. We never knew people could speak with two tongues. Mm -hmm. You understand? Or a forked tongue. Say one thing yeah, but mean something mean completely number, different yes. and double cross you. Sign no. agreements. You understand? And then... And sign treaties and then break them in the very second that you, you sign them. Yeah. Yeah. 
give them a piece of land. Next thing you know, they invite their people as they grow. They supersede and, and, and take it from you. Yeah. We was not prepared for that. Now we are. Yeah. And this is what I realize is, I mean, again, and I started this movement into celebrating our African hair and giving this kind of service that we felt we needed to. But we find, you know, where you say, I'm not my hair. It's like it's deeper than just it's it's from our hair, from the top of our hair. Yeah. You know, coming down into our soul. It's just there's so much more to this. I, I just thought I was helping people to enjoy their hair. But when yeah. you hear people's language and how they talk about their hair and the negativity and the way they are even embarrassed about going out with their hair or just getting their own hairstyle, you realise politically, it's, socially... It's, psychologically, it's, it's, it's that. It's deep. It's, it's deep. deep. That's, that is yeah. self-hatred. And it's, yeah. And it's how can you be ashamed of... Who you be? Yeah. Why would you hide your skin tone and your... Because... You know, you have been conditioned yeah. to think that you are of a lowly yeah. um, birth, if you like. Yeah. You understand? You 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 are of no significance because everything you read and see, you do not see your contributions to civilization. Yeah. So you start to believe the hype. We need to get books. We need to that's talk correct. more. That's we need correct. To share more. That's right. When you, I think that's the other thing is that when, I, when we say we learn and share. So when we know something new or we discover, we share. Don't on. hold it. Don't hold it. Because it's, it's not in you. our culture. That's correct. In our culture, we're we hold community. each other. We're a community. And, yeah. It doesn't sit right with me that you will see um, a sister. You both are sharing, doing the same thing, and yeah. just because that one is. It's fallen, you're there on, you know, you help each other. That's We're a community together. Because maybe 10... We're 15, stronger. Because maybe 10, 15 years back, me and you wouldn't be sitting together just for the yeah. simple reason that I am of a so-called West Indian descent. I understand that. And yeah. you're of Af the more pure seed yeah. African descent. Yeah. Which is crap. We're all yeah, the same. we're all the same. Yes, we have been mixed in. Yeah. You understand? But they have even separated us because of our separation where some was taken to other lands and so mm. some that stayed on the mainland, they had yeah. injected into our minds that we were actually different. Yeah, yeah. And that's where you see the division with skin tones Ex exactly. and curl types. That's why I think it's really dangerous, this curl definition thing that's yes. going on now when the type of your strand type, your curl type, we are one. That's correct. Just work with your hair. With don't, your hair. don't start. It's not a... You know, competition. Yeah, just, not, not what might work for me might not, not work, work for Dion. Might like, not work for you. There's, there is no superiority. There's only yeah, differences. We're different. There's we're just different. differences. So some of us here might be more tight. Others yeah. are more wavy. wavy yeah. One yeah. isn't better than the, the other. other. Yeah. yeah. One has its advantages and the other has its uh, yeah. advantages yeah. and one has its disadvantages and, and the other. The has other. You just work with so what you got. It's just different. Yeah. It's just, don't fight it. No, it's just different. Just work with what you got. Don, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. This is so great because when I'm doing Don's beard, with the, all these messages, I'm like, Don, one day I have to capture it. I'll have to capture it. I put it out there. Power of the mind, yeah. clarity of vision. Don has never done this before. Yeah, Ella, we're honoured, honoured, honoured. It gets, it's going to be like, she wants to just <laughs> sit there at the back and just be, because yeah. when we're doing, she's just shaking her yeah. head. She's just saying, a lot of messages. It's yeah. important to get it from a brother's we, perspective. That's right. Because yeah. I'm, I'm here. I do how many videos. I put it out there, put it out there. And maybe, maybe you'll hear. Yeah. Because I understand now that we are more in tune to hear yeah. our, our brother's voices. That's right. We, so, and sisters and brothers, we must work together. Stop blaming each other for this condition we're in. We're both to blame because we've both been hoodwinked. We have got to now get back together speak listen to one another be patient be patient okay do research don't just form an opinion and start a big argument based upon your limited information you must go away and go in depth in whatever you want to argue about buy a book do the research and then you'll be more equipped to come back and put forth your argument and we will start to narrow things down until we're left with only the truth all the rubbish, because we've got to learn that process of, if you like, analytical or critical analogy, which is to look at everything with a critical eye and analyze it until you've thrown away all the crap and all your left is with the facts. Right? And our living and our ancestors have gone back to the ancestral realm, have left a ton of information for us that we don't know exists. 
because our lifespan in this body that we have that we use to exist upon what we call earth or this what we call life is that experience in this body is not long enough for us to know everything and we are always distracted with other things taking children to yeah. school right but, but each yeah. and every one of our ancestors has passed through who have started recording has recorded bits and pieces of information that gives you the full picture if you take the time to go back it will become very clear how this system is constructed how it works what is being done to our minds and what we have to do to heal ourselves because we are a traumatized people let's not play games here we are a traumatized people extremely yeah uh, but it's only when we recognize that we're unwell are we going to, that's yeah. right are we going to, yeah. are we going to now yeah. try to find the solutions to cure ourselves somebody some of you might watch this and think i can't even deal with it and that's all right it, it, that's all right you might not be ready that's correct it, that's okay but maybe a few years later this that's is right out there something and might something will and you'll be like okay i get it because we need to do this for our children to be better prepared for what's out there that's correct um and, and they can't be it. yeah and to change it we can't be victims we have no. to come with our heads held high that's correct and they can name it what they want but yep. it's us just celebrating who we are that's right and being proud of who we are because we are here to stay that's right we ain't going nowhere. We ain't going anywhere. We're here first <laughs> we're, and we're going to be here last. Yeah, so it's equipping ourselves to live better, fuller, happier lives and to pass it on to the next... That's correct. ...next generation. Thank Definitely. you, Don. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, I hope it's been of some, you know, benefit to whoever takes Sees time out to watch, and watch it, it and so yeah. forth. And what I probably will do is I'll put two videos out. One will be an edited, shorter version, and then there will be this version, which is the full length for uncut. you to uncut <laughs> with my child interrupting and everything. Phone ringing. Phone ringing. <laughs> and so you can take the time and listen because it's all little messages. And this is brilliant, Don, because we've had this message through for a while now. We've, we've been meeting and I've been working yeah. with Don. So it's all different messages all, like for today, come out as it has, um, as, has done. Yeah. And we give reverence. And we th we are thankful. Thankful to our ancestors yeah. for their strength in us even being here and existing. Because for what they went through, it's amazing that we're even here to speak. Because they must have been extremely strong to go through that trauma which they went through, and to be able to still procreate and have us still here standing. And we're still standing, and That's still correct. I rise. And still we rise. And still we rise. Thank you for watching this posting. Thank you. YouTubers, stay connected and stay blessed. Peace. Peace <laughs> and bye-bye. <laughs>